Good day, the leaders world. This is Carmelita, and I'm back. Well, today I decided to bring you along with me as I go to Gabe's. Gabe's is a Louisiana-style restaurant here in Douglasville. Just found out about it. Had a great experience. The food was divine. The decor was really, really nice. Um, on the wall, they have signs of with the recipes. And I'm going to show you right here in this clip coming up the, uh, the pictures that they made. And they made it out of the recipes. Here's one right here. Uh, it's called shrimp and catfish so they give you the recipes for how to do the shrimp and catfish right here is the cheddar their recipe for their cheddar grits and when i tell you it was really pretty the decor was really pretty uh, this restaurant also came with a bar on the other side great place to be and here we have our appetizer this is their calamari. When I tell you that was the best calamari I have ever eaten. And right here, guys, is um, the salmon over mashed potatoes with vegetables. It was so good. And I had the jambalaya. Really good. It was pork, andouille sausage, and shrimp to die for. You have to try it. So, we're leaving Gabe's now. So, this is the outside of the restaurant. It also has a terrace on top where you can eat. We did not go up there. I think that section was closed and it must have upstairs seating as well. So, we're going to head on out of here and do a little drive. Show you um, one of the little scenic streets right up the street from Gabe's. Very nice Douglasville downtown historical district. Uh, there's the Douglasville Police Station. I don't know if it's still in operations or not, but it does not say it's not. Um, we're going to turn left here. And you're going to look and you're going to see, you know, small little business right here. Little insurance company look like State Farms. These houses, oh my God, they are to die for. I love the front porches, the long porches where you can sit up. A chair or a bench or swing or something out there and just enjoy the views they don't make houses like this anymore they were absolutely gorgeous little homes um, plenty of space in between the homes that's something you generally do not see and that was very impressive for me and I just wanted to share this ride with you all because it was beautiful look at that there just gorgeous and all the space and room uh, in between you and your neighbors. You don't have to worry about people being on top of each other like in most uh, HOA neighborhood because I tell you guys, living in uh, California, even here in Georgia, I've seen some homes where they're just right on top of each other and no one has space. Um, the great thing about living in areas without an HOA like this and where we live is we don't have to worry about people complaining about what's going on. I tell you, uh, when I was in California, in our neighborhood, we left the garbage can out once out of eight years, one time. And the HOA people literally had put something on my door, called, and talked about I was going to get a citation. Well, I was not very nice. Um, I literally gave them a piece of my mind, letting them know we take up our garbage cans every night. Every Thursday we took them in. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful, guys? And over to the left over here, that's a golf course. I didn't even know we had a golf course in this area. It's a cute little golf course. And that's a little um, HOA district over there. And to the right, we have the library, the city library uh, of Douglasville. Yeah, but uh, the moral of the story is after that incident, they never bothered me anymore, but I said I would never buy an HOA again after that. 
and I made sure of that. When I was looking for homes here in Douglasville, I seen a lot of beautiful homes in HOA neighborhoods, but that's not for me. I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye for now from Valida's World.